Jen. Hi. How's it going, you down in Natalie? It's Runaway June. What's up, y'all? The singer's are possibly the best song on the radio right now. Right now. That is true. Oh, thank you. That is true. Thank you. And we're jerks enough that if we didn't think that, we wouldn't say it. I was just going to say, you would shoot us straight because you always do. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you know us. Do you you think... oh, they're the ones who told us we sucked. Yeah. yeah you know, Gary would say, the three singers of the worst song on the radio right now. Yeah. But no. Julie, would, Julie would tell me. I know that for sure. Yes, oh. straight up. And I just think the timing on. on that song was perfect because I think Thank everybody you. wishes they could go back to a different time. Everybody. Yeah. I have to say that was really, Naomi, she said something so great. We had a single called Head Over Heels out before this. And I feel like you just really, it was really kind of Naomi spearheading. You know what? We need to pull that song, not because we don't love it or not because we don't think it's a hit, but because we need to say something different right now. And I feel like that was really intuitive of you and I feel like you explain it best when you say as artists well we... I thank you for saying that um I I felt like it was we all felt this way but I definitely you know said that it's our responsibility as artists to give our audience things that they can relate to and and it's our responsibility to make them feel good and take them out of out of their job for a minute and take them out of their worries for a moment and that's why people come to your concert that's why people buy your record so you know literally overnight head over heels a song about going out is just irrelevant no one can go anywhere no one cares you know they're kind of like we need something we need something else and so uh you know, we had this song, we want to put it out as a single next anyway. And um, we put that out. And I do think that it's a moment where people need to be reminded of a simpler time. And parents need to be reminded that their kids, you know, if they can't take them on vacation, or they can't buy them the things that they normally would, it's like, kids remember making a, a fort out of cushions in the, in the living room. That's what they remember. You know, they remember building their first fire and catching their first fish, things that are free. And finding those quarters in the couch. Oh my God. It's yeah. literally my, my fondest memories are like, yeah. are like digging money. for change. Yeah. So <laughs> our money. <laughs> we first money. Time finding money. You know, the funny Pulling thing my own is. teeth out for <laughs> five bucks. <laughs> Pulling your own teeth out for five bucks? Wow. That sounds you know? like the most horrific childhood ever. <laughs> oh, my God. That the is, tooth fairy would give me money. I was like, come so, on, tooth. Come that on. That just took me right back to me really forcing my teeth <laughs> out. Oh, my gosh. That was your amazing. parents gave you $5 for a tooth? Oh, mine didn't. Yeah. My dad oh, is yeah. cheap. Here and there, I, I did get a, I uh, did one dollar bill. I did get a crispy five one or two times. Wow! I may have gotten wow. a two dollar bill once, and Whoa. that was like the coolest That's thing cool. ever. You yeah. got a two dollar bill? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's you know time. if you guys ever become parents, let's see what the damn price range is for you. That's right. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. I did tell my nephew. I did tell my nephew a couple months ago. I was like, hey, if you run to my car and you go get this thing out, I'll give you like 50 cents and he was like i'll take ten dollars i was like ten dollars are you joking me oh, that, that is gosh. amazing you let me give you dollars you know what would be a really cruel joke is if you put monopoly money under <laughs> yeah. well. okay. wouldn't that suck i feel so like that's something my dad would do so we know what go. kind of parent jen's yeah, gonna be yeah. yeah jen's working on being the worst aunt ever yeah, uh, yeah. but now if you I, want... I told my nephew I was like how about you go get my stuff or i and i won't beat you up <laughs> no. Okay. It's all about the branding, Naomi. My sister, <laughs> my sister is known throughout our family as Sweet Aunt Linda. You know why? Because she gives the loudest gifts, and also she gives you a dollar per hug. But you have to go oh, outside. Come on. But you have to go outside and come back in. Wow. But so to this day, she is known as they'll, they'll go. There's Aunt Barbara. There's Aunt Judy. There's Sweet Aunt Linda. It's all about branding. What is she doing now wow. over All COVID? I know. Now, over now it's a dollar for not giving her a hug. A dollar for the air hug. Right. She lives in South Alabama and she don't care. And yeah. she don't care. Right. COVID's not happening there. COVID doesn't exist in Alabama. <laughs> right, All right, June. We are so excited about your new song. We're so excited about you. Thanks for stopping to talk to oh, us. Oh, you guys are so fun. Can't wait to see you again. Bye. Love Bye, you guys so much. <laughs>